A slugfest at Minute Maid Park. Eight home runs were hit, but five by the good guys. Hunter Brown has a bounce back start. Man, the boys look good at the plate. Let's talk about this on tonight's Locked on Astros. Alvarez, it's a high drive center field. Veer leans back. This game is turned upside down. There's the runner. Fly ball down the right field line. Tucker comes on. Kyle Tucker. This time they finish the job. Hello and welcome to Locked On Astros, your daily Astros podcast. Here are your hosts, Eric the Man Heisman and Brett H Town Wheelhouse Chancy. We are Locked on Houston Astros, and we are your daily Astros podcast. I'm H-Town Wheelhouse. You can find me at H-Town Wheelhouse on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. You can find me at Stros411 on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Always positive, always Stros. You can find the Stro- You can find the show at Locked on Astros on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, wherever you get your podcast. And make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, give us... Give us a big fat thumbs up, like us, and make sure you become an everydayer. Thank you so much. You have a look. This is a great game to talk about. A great game to talk about, and it is one of those games where you're like, okay, we're definitely doing a post game after this one, and I absolutely love it. So thank y'all for tuning in. Um, you know, um, I'll just say this. I will address this up front and be done with it. There are two different moderators on this channel. One is me. When I'm live, I can't moderate. And two is a restream bot. That's all I'll say. The person knows who I'm talking to. We do not have control over what restream moderates. So if you have a problem with that, I, I, I can't help you. I literally try to type the words. Okay, um, guy, you're going, in, you're going in timeout. All right. So... I, I'm not going to put up with people driving false narratives to this podcast. We do not censor fans. We keep it clean. This is a family show. Restream has a certain set of rules and standards that they set. And if you violate those standards in the chat, it will block you. I even try to type like Joe Kelly sucks. It wouldn't even let me type that. It censored me. So I'm not going to sit here and let people drive me into a false narrative and say that I'm censoring our fans. I had to address that because it's getting nauseating. We don't have time to do that. And I don't have time to play games with y'all. So let's get down to business. The Houston Astros win 17 to four, five home runs on the day. Yiner Diaz looked absolutely amazing at the plate. Two for five today. Chas McCormick, three for five. Myers, three for three. Abreu, three for three. Alvarez, three for five. Bregman, one for three. Bregman hit a home run. Alvarez hit a home run. Abreu hit a home run. Diaz hit a home run. I mean, this game, Pena, um, let's see. Yeah, Diaz, make sure I'm not missing anybody. Altuve, Bregman, Alvarez. I mean, look, this this game from the get-go was fun. Hunter Brown did give up a two-run shot late in the game, but Hunter Brown looked really good. But I want to focus on the bats because bats, see, one, um, your six through nine hitters were what showed up today. You got a double from Pena, a double from Diaz, a triple from McCormick, and just RBIs to go around. Literally 17 RBI, 17 runs, 18 hits. Absolutely love it. Only seven strikeouts only seven strikeouts and so this team looked really good i will say this the rays are not the team that they were when they first started this season that we swept them in tampa and we did that and they you know they were in the midst of we had stopped them on a home run streak and they had reached their highest peak well they have really since come to earth since july and it has been really um more just Look, the Orioles own the East right now. The Orioles have risen to the top, and everybody's chasing the Baltimore Orioles. Um, so right now, the Astros did win 17-4. to As we record this, I believe the Padres, um, top of the ninth, the Padres are winning 4 to nothing. 
Nothing's exactly final, but if by the end of this podcast or by the time you're listening to it tomorrow, if the Rangers have lost, it will only be a one-game lead by the Rangers, and it will look like the Astros can be poised to take over or take a division tie um, on Sunday when you have Belak versus um, Littell going on the mound. And I like our chances. I know Belak is kind of up and down, but I like our chances against Littell. We just have to quiet the bat of Jose Siri like we did today. Jose Siri received his ring. Jose Siri, um, he um, he got his World Series ring because he played 48 games with the Astros last year. But I want to talk about Hunter Brown. I, I was sitting here looking at his numbers and looking at what he did today. Um, Hunter Brown did produce, let's see, how many swings and misses did he have? He had seven swings and misses. Um he, this is his breakdown. He threw 39 four seam fastballs, 24 sliders, 19 knuckle curves, a sweeper seven times, and a splitter six times. So we got seven swings and misses. Um, his, his velocity was there 95. I mean, yeah, 95, no, 97.9. Sorry about that. On his four seam, he had 95 mile an hour slider, um, 89.7 mile an hour splitter. Overall, his average max was 97.9 miles per hour. So he looked good tonight. He, he did give up the home run late, but look, um, six innings, um, four Ks, two walks, two runs, both earned, one home run. I'll take it. I will take it, and I absolutely love that. Um, the, the Astros' back end of their lineup, outside of Altuve hitting a bomb late, were really the story of the game. And Pena going into that two hole, he was two for six today, but he did a great job hitting today. He hit the two hole. Dusty Baker said, I want him to see, I want him to see more fastballs. Well, he hit better today. There was one strikeout. I believe it was his first at bat. I didn't really like, but that curveball that the Ray starter had that, that young pitcher, Bradley, Taj Bradley, this kid has got some stuff. He's five and seven with a 5.67 ERA, but 99 strikeouts. He's got a true 12 six curveball, and it was it was it, it was working early on. I mean, the Astros didn't put up a majority of the runs in, until the fourth inning, where they scored innings four through eight every inning. So they scored the second inning, and they only had two runs. Um, locked on Astros. Dana Brown better be active tomorrow. Hey. I think Dana Brown's been active this whole time. We we tend to think that the only way someone's active is if they're in the media telling us what they're doing, and that's just simply not the case. Um, yeah, umpires. Um, Garrett sitting here saying the umpires are whack. I think the umpire was is always whack. The umpires are always whack. This is what I loved. You had Alex Bregman on base. Jordan Alvarez comes up after him. And Bregman's leading off, and Alvarez smokes a single into right field. And Bregman just had to run and duck for cover, like run for his life. He looked completely scared. Like, can you imagine a ball coming at you, not with the when you don't have a glove and you're just standing there? That's like being attacked in war. Look, Jordan looked good today. Altuve got that home run. He looked good today. Um Chas McCormick with a triple. I mean, I mean, what what more can you say? When this offense hits, when a Braves hitting opposite field home runs, we get that. I think one more arm. I, I'll be honest, folks. I don't know that we have to get another bat. The Astros know way more about um, Michael Brantley than I do. Okay, but Michael Brantley. I don't think is coming back. If he is, then that's your other left-handed bat. He's a professional hitter. He's always been a professional. And if he comes back healthy, he would be the guy to take that spot. You don't need to go spend any draft capital. Okay. Um, I'll talk a little bit about Justin Verlander in relation to Max Scherzer and what his deal was and what I think it would take to get Justin Verlander. But what do y'all think in the chat? And I can pull your, I can pull your quotes up. Um, I love this. Rich says we are coming back for the throne. That's right. Actually, the throne still resides in Houston. We're just making sure it stays there. How's that, Rich? Does that sound better? Um, yeah, 
I believe, Hannah, I believe, I think we have enough bats. I think, and if you listen to the broadcast tonight, I'm, I'm not a big national broadcast guy, but I thought Fox did a good job tonight, a decent job. Getting out, out, out to Van Alvarez back is much like having a trade deadline. Um, yeah, what do you call it? Transaction without having to give anything up. No. So Sammy. Okay. So Sammy says this, this is interesting. Um, Sammy says Brantley is the forced Whitley tier for me in terms of ever playing again. I don't think he's that far. I look, he wasn't shut down for the year, but I do believe that to me, it's still a long shot. He's, he's hitting in the cage. He's swinging the bat. The problem is Brantley's older. It's a shoulder surgery. And sometimes when people have shoulder surgeries, their shoulders don't react positively. And so any activity, boom, and the Rangers just lost. We are one game back. So as far as 10, 16 p.m. goes on Saturday night when I'm recording this, you'll probably listen on Sunday or maybe Monday. The Astros gained a game on the Rangers today. Thank you to the Padres. We are Padres fans right now. Um, hey, we are one game back. That's right. We are one game back. Why bring another bat to the market? Call up Dearden. Now, Mr. Richard, have you seen Dearden's AAA season this year? If I'm calling anybody up, you know who I'm calling up from AAA for a bat? I'm either calling up Shea Whitcomb, who's a third baseman, or Quincy Hamilton, who's an outfielder. Those two guys, but Shea Whitcomb, 26 home runs, I believe. Almost 30 home runs. That's that's Jordan and Tucker-esque in AAA. And so I really think that if you see a bat come up, it's going to be one of those guys, but they're not on the 40-man roster. And if you bring someone up, you have to DFA somebody and take them off the 40-man roster, or you have to um, put someone on the 60-day IL. John Singleton, again, he's out of options. Once you bring him up, you can't send him back down. I, I don't think he – I think you have to bring him up or just leave him there. I don't think Singleton sees the light of Major League Day this year. I wouldn't mind if they did and tried it out, but I don't know what what that would do to the roster. Before we go any further, I want to talk to you all about eBay Motors because since we're talking about a championship team, we need to talk about how do you make sure that all the right parts – are a part of your vehicle and you are getting them at the right place. Well, the right parts, the right fit, the right prices, go to eBay Motors because a championship team is all about making each player the perfect fit. It's the same way when it comes to your vehicle. Every part needs to fit just right. So the next time you need parts and accessories, head to eBay Motors with eBay guaranteed fit. You can be sure every part you need fits right the first time around. Just add your ride to my garage and look for the green check to know that your part will fit. Or your money back because just like in sports confidence is the name of the game when you shop at ebay motors with over 122 million parts to choose from you'll be back in no time back in the game after all it's easy to bring home a win when you have the right parts guaranteed get the right parts the right fit and the right prices on ebaymotors.com that's right ebay guaranteed fit only available to u.s customers eligible items only exclusions apply so Let's let's talk a little bit about this because I'm not going to make this an extended show. This isn't going to be a full 30 minute show. I just want to talk about a few things here um, in relation to the Max Scherzer deal. OK, um, let me give you all some. Some numbers here because I was looking at it and the big guys in the media are breaking it down and they are basically giving all the details of what Max Scherzer deal is. Um, and I'm looking for it. I, I had it pulled up and then it went away. Don't you hate when that happens? You have something ready to go. You have your notes all there. You're in a meeting and you're like, all right. And your boss says, okay, tell us about your report. And you're, and you're, you know, going through your report. Well, <laughs> I'll sit in here. I'll find it here in a second. Um, but I do know that they will pay um, a lot of the salary. The, the Rangers, okay, here it is. So the Rangers will get Luis Angel Acuna, and the Mets will send Max Scherzer and about $36 million to the Rangers. 
So they're paying 36 of his $43 million salary of this salary. And they make that trade happen. I think this is the number two prospect for the Rangers. If you want Justin Verlander, and Eric asked me this on the last show, and if you watch the last show, he asked me this. Are you, the listener, willing to give up Drew Gilbert? If you're willing to give up Drew Gilbert for JV, then that's probably the price. Justin Dearden won't get it done. Pedro Leone won't get it done. Spencer Arigetti won't get it done. It's going to be someone like Drew Gilbert. Okay, JG says no. Richard Lopez says no way, son. <laughs> Roman says nope. Crystal says nope. Man, there's a bunch of no's. If you watched the last episode, you probably yelled at me. Because <laughs> Eric said, would you do it? I said, yeah. But here's why. Yes, Gilbert has upside. But... Yeah, so he has been on a tear in double A. Okay. What if what if I told you, and of course, there's no way of predicting this. What if I told you that bringing JV back was the linchpin to get us back to the World Series and win it again? And because of him, we then competed for maybe a third title. Would you take those one or two World Series for Drew Gilbert? If not, that's fine. So tell me who, okay. So let's just say. Here's the proposition to you, the those that are viewing. If you wanted JV, let's just say you want JV, even if you don't, okay? If you want JV, who are you willing to get? Like, who are you willing to give up for Justin Verlander? Because you see what the Rangers just gave up. Well, he has not done well in the postseason, but what if this is the year he does well in the postseason? I don't know. Okay, so who would we give up? Would we, someone said, what about Snell? Well, so you're willing to give up Gilbert for Snell? And these are the things the Astros have to think about. The Astros have to look and see, is the cost of removing a player, and I honestly don't think Gilbert would be that guy because Dana Brown has talked highly about him. There's another guy Dana Brown's talked highly about, Yiner Diaz. And he absolutely crushed it today. And every time he plays catcher, he tends to crush it. And guess what? Yiner Diaz caught Hunter Brown. That's right. He caught Hunter Brown. It wasn't Maldi. It was Diaz. What was funny was everybody got what they wanted, but then they were griping about Peña in the two-hole. Like, stop. Stop. Stop complaining. Just enjoy your team. Leon, the thing is, what? What value does Leon have with that strikeout rate that he still has? That's the tough part. Someone said Jake Myers and some Shipley Donuts. See, that's wrong. You are disgracing Jake Myers' defensive metrics. Okay, it's, everyone tells me. Do you know what kind of defensive outfielder Jake Myers is? Look, right now, I'm not trading Chas McCormick. Right now, I don't want to trade Drew Gilbert. But I did say earlier, you know what? I would trade if it was just Drew Gilbert and they took salary from me or I didn't have to pay JV, but I knew that it was going to help us ultimately and be a spark plug for this, for this team. Absolutely. I would do it, but I can understand. I can understand why people would not do that. Or why you're listening, you're going, Brett, you are smacked out of your mind. And you know what? You have every right to disagree with me. Okay. Um, yeah, if they trade Traz, we will riot. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen the Chaz Chomp creator. I, I believe his name is Scott, and I don't want to pronounce his last name because I'll butcher it. He has created two other chants, one for Yanner Diaz and one for Jeremy Pena. It was hilarious the one he did today. So if you follow the Chaz Chomp guy on Twitter, go check out the cheers he made. Um, Chaz, well, see, people say, I mean, you look at the defensive metrics, apparently – if you break down the numbers, Myers is the better defensive guy. But Chaz made the catch in the World Series. Look, I think right now it's nitpicking, okay? I don't think we're trading Chaz. I don't think we're giving up Gilbert. But if you want JV, you've got to give up something. You're going to have to give up something that hurts a little bit. So the Astros, let's go back to this game. The Astros win 17-4. to The Rangers lose four to nothing. 
The Astros score 18, 17 runs on 18 hits. The bullpen did only give up one run, Mushinsky and Montero. Montero was in the game, and believe it or not, gave up a home run, and it didn't hurt the team, so that was a good thing. Montero had three strikeouts, though. I mean, hey, he did give up the one earned run. He had three strikeouts. Mashinsky didn't look terrible, didn't look great. That's why Kendall Graveman is here. Kendall Graveman shores up the back end of that bullpen. I think the Astros go and get someone like Justin Verlander or another frontline starter. Why not? Um, maybe not even a frontline starter. What if you go get a Jordan Montgomery? What if you go get Kyle Hendricks? What if you go get Flaherty? I mean, there are arms out there that I think can help eat up innings. But if you were to call up Singleton and send down the rookie infielder, see, I are you talking about Greg Kessinger? And yes, the Cubs aren't selling. So Bellinger's out, which many of y'all are happy about, and Stroman's out. So there you go. The Angels started a thing. Oh, and the Otani cheat code was unlocked. Apparently this dude's unreal. But I like our cheat code better. I like Altuve. I like Alvarez. And I'm excited. So stay tuned in to Locked on Astros, guys. This is all I got tonight. Y'all hang in there. This has been a double header. This has been a night of fun talk. And we got to talk about the Astros winning um, another game. And hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to talk about the Astros tying, getting in the tie, and eventually moving into first place with the Texas Rangers. I made a special house for everybody here at Locked on Astros. Right here. And then everybody else involved, part of the Locked on Network. Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure that we are your first listen every single day. And make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up. And no matter what day it is, you can go to our channel, watch us, listen to us on your way to school, on your way home, to, home from work, and on your way to work. And as always, y'all keep it going and go Strohs. I'm out. You better put Diaz in the lineup, Dusty, because we're watching. <laughs>